So I've mentioned before in other videos that the society within Boku no My Hero Azospermia is a major factor which contributes into a lot of societal outcasts becoming villains in the end. Be it the person was rejected for their personality, their ideals, or even their quirks in some cases. The people of the world in Hiroaka shun them down the wrong path in a sense. Society as a whole has given them no other choice. Though it is those who hold on to their convictions in the face of this society that will go on to achieve great things. And I think no character represents this better than the head of class 1C, Hitoshi Shinso, and his quirk, brainwashing. Shinso is the best student from class 1C, along with being one of the only students we actually know from that class. The other two are just two randos we saw once, and the rest of them are just people in a crowd. Though what allows him to stand out above the rest of his class is both a mixture of his quirk and his strong determination. But before we can get into that, we should actually understand the meaning behind his name first. Hitoshi Shinso's name is actually very interesting, as it's one of the first time Horikoshi attempted to experiment with his naming themes in Hiroaka, blending together multiple meanings within a single name. Now first you have the Hitoshi part of his name, which when broken down means use or uses people, which of course is a direct reference to how his quirk works, as it takes control of the body and makes it so he can use it to his pleasure. But then you have Shinso, which when broken down can mean both mind chastity, which is a reference much like his first name to his quirk, but also true and honest hearted, which this duality of his name plays into his desire to be a hero with a villainous quirk. Though this isn't where the references about his name actually end, as when all together, instead of breaking them down, Shinso can mean to rig into one's favor, which plays directly into Shinso's quirk, brainwashing. Brainwashing is one of the most powerful quirks in the entirety of Hiroaka, let alone UA, as when anyone answers a question asked by Shinso, Shinso can then immediately assume direct control over their body. This ability doesn't even have a limit to the number of people he can do it to as well. He can control multitudes of people at the same time. Along with this, the only way we've seen anyone escape this brainwashing is by inflicting a significant amount of pain onto themselves. Though, we don't know the exact pain tolerance, I'm going to assume it's on the level of breaking a bone, as that's how Deku escaped by breaking both his fingers. Now what makes this ability even more terrifying is that while under the brainwashing, the target does remain conscious, they're just not in control of their body, something along the lines of sleep paralysis. Luckily, Shinso can choose when and when not to activate this ability, as he can still have normal conversations with people without resulting in brainwashing, though this would allow him to subtly implant brainwashing questions within his normal conversations, which could allow him to go on to become one of the greatest interrogation heroes, or maybe a crisis negotiation hero, something that allows him to talk down the villain instead of physically beating them up. Possibly like other pro heroes like Miss Joke. Oh, hey, look who's in the crowd during Deku and his fight. Now you might ask why a kid with a quirk this powerful isn't part of 1A or at least 1B? Well, that's because UA's entrance exam is extremely flawed. As Aizawa explains, Shinso was basically entering a losing competition because the test itself favored more physical quirks over mental ones, as society has deemed these quirks to be the heroic ones, likely due to the popularity of figures like All Might. Shinso was basically stuck in a lose-lose situation at this point. He couldn't use his quirk on the robots as they were immune to it, and if he were to use his quirk on the other participants in the test, he would still receive zero points, as the point totals would go to the person who killed the robot and not the person who is controlling the person who killed the robot. Then stack that on top of the fact that all his life he's been told that his quirk wasn't really fit for being a hero, but would be perfect for being a villain. Mixing together these years of societal standards of what it means to be a hero drilled into you year after year after year, along with his failure to complete UA's exam because his quirk wasn't heroic enough, must have really darkened Shinso as a person. Especially since Shinso would be placed in the remedial courses at UA, where his quirk mattered little to nothing at all, and his dreams of becoming a hero were far out of reach. But then the UA Sports Festival came around, and he made it his mission to win. Though with only victory on the mind, he would start to head down the wrong path, the path to being a villain, as he treated everyone either as his enemy or his tool. And 
he would have actually pretty easily wiped out most of the competition, except for maybe Todoroki, since all he needs to do is just get them mad enough at him that they would respond, and then he wins. Which would have justified to him his hatred of everyone around him, possibly creating a UA-grown villain. Luckily, he faced off against the only kid who could really understand where he was coming from, and showed him that the impossible is possible when he broke free of Shinzo's brainwashing. And since Shinzo had very little physical capability, he was easily over powered by Deku and thrown on his ass, teaching him a very valuable lesson both in how hero work should be done, but also that he needs to get stronger because he can't rely only on his quirk, as Deku in that fight helped drag Shinso out of the dark place he was heading and pushed him towards the light. And because of the stunt he pulled at the sports festival and his backstory, Shinso started to get noticed in a lot of places, be it his classmates, Aizawa, but most importantly, the readers. As after his fight with Deku, Shinso found him himself appearing more and more on character popularity polls, never really breaking the top 10s at first until the most recent poll where he placed 10th, knocking well-established characters out of the main 10 spot. This surge of popularity actually shocked Horikoshi at the time. He never imagined a character that he thought of right before bed would get so popular. So in an interview with the Western magazine, specifically Jump Festa 2017, he hinted at the fact that Shinso might actually be getting an arc later down the road in the manga, which he would then begin to subtly hint at with Shinso's appearances throughout the series from that point on. Now his appearances are as such. First you have Shinso appearing right before the training camp arc, where he's seen walking with Aizawa, one of the few teachers, if not the only teacher, at UA who could understand his struggle the best. Which led a lot of fans to believe while Class A was off doing their intense quirk training, Aizawa has been working in the background with Shinso and training him up for possibly moving up into the real classes. Then Shinso appears again right as Class 1A is returning from their license exam and readying themselves for their internships to mock them for holding up the line to a school assembly. And then as he leaves, they point out that he seems different than the last time they saw him, that he's gotten tougher somehow, which only fueled the flame that is the fan theory that Aizawa was training Shinzo off screen. And then you have him returning again for the school festival when Shinzo is shown doing physical labor for his class along with playing a zombie in their haunted house, showing both that he has bettered his relationship with his class along with demonstrating that his physical strength has improved greatly since he last fought Deku. Then lastly, in chapter 194, Shinzo shows up again. This time he's caught walking out of the teacher's lounge with Aizawa. Deku then brings up that he's seen them together a lot recently, only reinforcing the idea that the two of them have been training secretly together off screen, which is then more or less confirmed at the very end of this chapter when Shinso reveals himself to be testing with Class 1A to try to move up into the hero course along with showing off his new prototype hero outfit. And speaking of Shinzo's hero design, we should look at all of the influences both in-universe and out-of-universe that inspired his character. First with the in-universe inspiration he seemed to have taken from both Deku and Aizawa. First, of course, you have Izawa's capture scarf, which is wrapped around his neck. This will help Shinso make up for his low physical ability, as the scarf is made of a carbon fiber mixed with a special metal alloy that can be manipulated by the user and restricts with intense force. Along with this, his very tired eyes seem to stem as a reference directly towards Aizawa, which helped fans play up the theory that these two would get along very well. Then you also have his mask, which resembles that of Deku's mask from his hero design. And from the looks of it, the mask appears appears to have headphones and speakers built into it, which if I had to guess how it worked, I would assume that it helped modify his voice in order to trick enemies into answering his questions more easily. As with a voice changer, you wouldn't be able to determine who is actually Shinso when they're asking you the questions. Sort of like a vocal version of Aizawa's goggles. Now when speaking of outside influences, you get into more coincidental territory. As Horikoshi has claimed in the character page for Shinso that he created the concept of his quirk one night before falling asleep as he was thinking of quirks that could be easily used to abuse the law. But given Horikoshi's connection to comics, this could have been a train of thought led on by the Marvel supervillain, The Purple Man, a daredevil villain with the power that allows him to convince other people to do whatever he wants. Only few people seem to be immune to this power, such as Daredevil, and it appears that you can break this mind control if you're hit with a strong enough force. Along with this, Shinso's overall purple theme, with his purple hair and purple eyes, match up with the purple man's purple everything. But Shinso as a character shows the flaws of the hero Aka society and demonstrates that one's drive and determination dictates their place within that society, as much like Deku, you must work to get what you want in life. Villains make excuses, heroes make results.
Now, if you enjoyed this video and like to support more videos like it in the future, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash myneathebadguy. And if you want to avoid brainwashing, you should buy yourself a copy of Shimanetta at funimation.com slash show slash Shimanetta. Boring World with Contrary Jokes doesn't exist. I swear this isn't brainwashing in itself. And uh, it's, if, if you have any questions, well, uh, feel free to ask them right now. And now that you've asked the question, uh, you are now officially under brainwash. You have to go buy a copy of Shimanetta.